doing another video. Uh, decided to just talk about some stuff um, again. What's going on with me? Uh, it's like Friday morning, um, very early Friday morning, and um, I'm supposed to be working on some photos, but and I just got off from work. So, I haven't done anything that I was supposed to do. <laughs> That's not unusual for me. That is really not unusual for me. I procrastinate and put things off. Um, anyway, so, I had something awesome happen. Um, so, I know last episode I had mentioned that um, my boyfriend went on this trip with his family. And they had gone out of town, like way out of town, like states away. Um, and they apparently have this gathering every year, it's like once a year, for the cousins, and so on, on that particular side of the family. So, um, he went with his cousins on this trip. And the previous year, we were not dating, um, well, not officially, we were kind of, sort of, testing the waters and not really dating because I was still married, so my divorce hadn't been finalized yet. And so, um, I just, I saw the pictures from last year, and they were really pretty, and, um, at the place where they went, and so I didn't really, I mean, I kind of sort of paid attention to them, but I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention. And, uh, so this year, they decided they were going to go, and, of course, this year, we are, in fact, seeing each other. Um, and we're... I guess you could say we're pretty serious at this point. We're we're pretty serious. Like it's serious enough that um you know we would meet extended family and that sort of thing. We we've gotten to that point. Um he's met my cousins and um he's met well I I put it this way. He's met the majority of my cousins. Um, and he's met a couple of aunts on my mama's side, and of course he knows my mom and my dad. Um, he sees them all the time because they see him all the time. <laughs> so um, they're, I mean, they're, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty serious, and that's what kind of happened. I mean, it kind of evolved from that because we've known each other for a pretty long time. So it's not as if you know this is random and new. Um, so much that he wouldn't have met them and he doesn't know who they are. I have not met the majority of his family though. So apparently when he went on this trip, um, his cousins asked about me. They gave him, in his words, they gave him an inquisition about me and um, claimed that he left out a lot of details, but they were curious about me. And I knew this was going to happen because I told him, I said, you do realize this is going, what's going to happen is your cousins are going to start asking questions because I had posted some photos of us on Facebook, which, I mean, I do that. <laughs> I take photos. I'm a photographer in my spare time and I like taking photos. And so I have a lot of um, shots of myself and also... Um, he has his own photo series that I'm doing of him. So, um, I posted those photos up and immediately, and also when my sister got married, I took a bunch of photos and I posted them, um, so that my sister could see them and so that I would have them in an album for myself. And so his cousin, <laughs> one of his cousins, who I immediately knew was, was a cousin because I recognized, I recognized his last name. And I was like, oh, that's one of his cousins. Okay. And I remember him talking about him. So, um, he had liked all of these photos that I posted up of Brandon. And I'm like, whoa, dude. <laughs> Slow your roll down all that liking. Like, lay off the like button there for a second. Seriously, breathe, dude. So, I was like, immediately I told Brandon, I was like, you do realize that your cousin is going to be asking, is going to be, this is the one that's going to ask questions. There are going to be at least one or two of them that's going to ask questions because they're on Facebook. And they see 
that I posted up all these photos of us and we look pretty serious in these photos like there is no question that we are in a relationship with each other like it's pretty obvious <laughs> it's pretty obvious that not only are we in a relationship but we're happy and in a relationship so I knew that one of his cousins was I knew at least one of them was gonna start asking questions and so, sure enough, and he's never, like, the cousin has never sent me a friend request. And the other one that I knew was going to probably ask questions has never sent me a friend request or anything, to be clear. So, immediately, as soon as he told me that, I was like, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I just knew that was going to happen. And sure enough, it happened. They were asking questions. And they were like, apparently they were like, you know, um, how did we meet and all this stuff. And, you know, like wanting the details of, you know, how we got together and decided we were going to be in a relationship with each other. And I assume that they asked, were we serious about each other and that sort of stuff. Um, and he, then he told me that this was the kicker, that he told me that um, the invitation, an invitation had been extended for the next trip. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Oh, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> I would, I am flattered that they wanted me to, to come on the next trip and that, um, obviously, you know, I'm, um, I'm considered serious enough with him that I would be invited on this trip. That part, I'm extremely flattered and, um, I'm pretty happy about that. That's. To me, that makes that makes a big difference to me. Like, it it means that our relationship is recognized as being serious when it it is very serious, very much so serious. Um, I mean, we ain't gonna go running down the aisle tomorrow, but <laughs> but I mean, I'm I'm pretty serious about him, and I yeah, I'm pretty certain that he's. He's pretty serious about me. I'm I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that he's pretty serious about me. Based on things he said and done and things that we've done together and seen together and, you know, talked about and that sort of thing. I'm fairly certain that, that yeah, he's, he's pretty serious about me. So, and he knows that I'm the kind of person that I don't take things very lightly. I'm very serious about like everything <laughs> I'm extremely serious about everything so my relationship with him is not I don't take it very lightly I I realize the implications of what it means um, for us to be together and do things together and some of the things that we've been through already I recognize the seriousness of it and I have no problem with that um, where I have the problem is not so much that they've asked, you know, that, that I come on this trip, but it's two things. One, it's a family gathering and I would feel completely out of place. <laughs> I would feel completely out of place. I do think of Brandon as, as part of my family. I mean, we were friends and we were best friends for a long time before we decided we were going to start dating. Um, more or less like I decided that I wanted to date him and, and talked him into it. <laughs> we, I mean, I, I had already considered him part of my family. That's, I mean, that's just, I immediately thought of him as part of my family. And my father thinks of him, oh my God, my father is completely like, mess things up. Or I think I've headed off my father messing things up. By saying to him, um, he introduced Brandon to um, my sister's stepfather and was like, this is my future son-in-law. And <laughs> I'm like, daddy, what the fuck? <laughs> Do not mess up my shit. <laughs> my father and I had that talk later on. I was like, daddy, do not fuck up my shit. This is important. I do not need you pushing the freaking button on this <laughs> do not press the nuke button right now 
you are getting ahead of the gun here. You are jumping the gun, okay? You about to get us all disqualified. You, I was like, Daddy, you fucking up. <laughs> and my dad was like, what? And I'm like, Daddy, you can't go introducing him as your future son-in-law. Ain't nobody talking about getting married right now, and you about to scare him off. <laughs> and so he was like, oh. And I was like, yes, Daddy, you about to mess things up for everybody. And so I later had a talk with Brandon, and I was like, please discount everything that my father has said in the past, like, two weeks, because, you know, like, I can see that messing us up, and I don't want that to. So, um, that's number one. It's a, it's a family trip, and so I, I feel like, I, even though I feel like he's part of my family, I don't want him to feel like I'm trying to intrude on, because it's a gathering for his cousins to get together, and I don't want to feel like I'm intruding on that gathering, you know, as his girlfriend. You know, like, I don't want to be like, oh, that girl. <laughs> Who, you know, you're like, seriously, she's not related to us. Why is she here? Like, I don't want to be that chick. But if they've invited me, then I would not feel quite as bad about being involved and going and doing stuff. Like, I wouldn't feel that bad about it. And so, um, and I told him that I felt very flattered about that. My other reasoning why I don't want to go, and I've touched on this before. I have touched on it several times before. Right now, I am content with where we are. I am happy with um, the status of our relationship. I'm happy with what we are as a couple. I am not ready to deal with another set of in-laws because let me tell you that first batch was crazy as hell <laughs> like crazy as hell at no point in my entire marriage did I ever feel comfortable around my in-laws never I never felt comfortable around them and it wasn't just my mother and father-in-law or my sister's in-law no it was even like his cousins and Ugh, like, I just never felt comfortable around them. I always felt out of place and weird and looked, like, like, they were looking at me strangely. And, you know, and I, I just got this very cold reception from, like, 99.9% .9 of them. Um, there was, like, one, one person out of the entire group of people that made any kind of effort to be friendly and inviting and nice and I was just like seriously what is the matter with y'all <laughs> like and you know that dude was awesome actually I take that back there was like two people there was two people out of the entire well three people all right three people that I can actually tell you straight up was trying to be nice and be friendly and inviting one of which was one of my sisters-in-law, and she was awesome. She was quite awesome. Um, she's, and surprisingly, she was one of the first people who was very uh, encouraging and accepting of us being together and, and talking about getting married and stuff. So, uh, Selena, if you ever see this, thank you, because you didn't have to be nice, and <laughs> your sister <laughs> demonstrated that she wasn't very nice um but I always got the feeling that um I just wasn't very uh welcome there and so I was just like seriously this it, it ain't exactly like you know he's some prize or some shit you know <laughs> so and I've talked about it before and how I felt about it. And I just, I never felt comfortable with these people. And it was like seven years worth of this. And I said, after I got a divorce, um, and after I went to them for help, trying to find him and, you know, make sure the man wasn't dead and, you know, making sure, trying to salvage my marriage and being turned away, basically, and being told, basically, that, well, sucks to be you. I just was like, oh, 
Okay. You know what? <laughs> I don't care if the motherfucker is dead or not. <laughs> I mean, I really, I really and truly, at that point, that's when I stopped. I, I ceased to care. I really did. I ceased to care at that point. I just was like, I don't care if he dead or alive. And you know the reason, and I know the reason why I was told that. It was because they already knew where he was. They already knew where he was, and they knew he was safe. But in an effort to freeze me out and make sure I didn't know what was going on and keep me in the dark, um, I uh, I was not told anything. And um, it was, I just was like, you know what, I give up. I don't really care if I ever see him again. <laughs> All I really want him to do is sign my papers. <laughs> That's it. I really just want him to sign my papers so that I can get a divorce. Um, and I can get away from y'all because these are some crazy fucking people. I'm, I can't make this up. Like, some of the stuff they, they had done and then I found out that they did later was like, what? <laughs> yeah, nah, y'all keep that drama over there. <laughs> keep the craziness and the drama over there because I don't want to deal with that. Um... And it was just, it was a very not friendly attitude and just the entire time I was married. And I was just like, yet I'm letting you in my home, okay, because you're related to this person that I'm married to. You ought to be thankful that I'm letting you in my house, <laughs> you know, and I'm not an asshole and tell you to meet him at the damn mall or some shit. You know, like, I really could have been an asshole about things, but I wasn't. I was more or less like, hey, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to try. I'm going to be nice. And I saw what I got from my troubles later on. So, fuck them. <laughs> so, that's why I'm not all that eager and running around like, hey, let's go <laughs> jump into another situation where we have in-laws. I'm not really all that excited about it. I really am not. Like... I'm sure they're wonderful people and they seem to really be involved and with each other and care about each other and keep up with each other. But I am so not ready for that. So I don't know if I'm going to go on this trip. I have no idea um, if I would go on the trip with him, with them. And I told him, I said, I would go if you didn't mind. But if you mind, I'm not going. Like, if that's that's too much for you right now, I will not go. And I still have to think about it at that point and be like, am I ready to deal with this shit again? Um, with trying to... I feel like I need to be... I need to impress his people and make a good impression. And I'm... So I'm at the point where I feel like I'm too old for that. I'm so over doing that for people and going through the trouble of trying to be something I'm, I really feel like I'm not. So I don't know if I'm ready to deal with that or not, but we'll see. I mean, I just, I'd have to think about it and I have some more time because they don't do this trip um, often. Like, I mean, it's just, it's once a year. So they don't, they don't go like every two or three months or six months or something like that. It's like once a year. So, that's why I'm kind of like, uh, yeah, give me some time to think about that. And let's see where we are next year when y'all are starting to plan this trip. Because I don't want to feel like I'm getting in the middle of something that I shouldn't be in the middle of and causing problems and things. But from what I gather, they were quite interested to meet me. And um, they, uh, I guess from pictures and what he told them, you know, he was like, I guess he told them that, you know, yeah, I've known him for a really long time. You know, we went to high school together and um, she's my best friend and we, you know, decided we were going to date after she got a divorce. And I mean, I guess he, he, he told them the basics, but knowing him, he probably did leave some details out. So now they're looking at me like, what in the world? <laughs> And that is not what I want. <laughs> so, we'll see. Um, so, that's really all that's going on with me right now. Um, I'm off this weekend, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm probably going to go out and go to the arcade and try to get out of the house. I've been in the house working on GI stuff this entire time. And um, I just, I finally got everything written. And I'm still waiting on one story, but... 
um, I am, um, I'm, I'm pretty much caught up where I need to be, uh, and where I should be right now. So I'm going to finish designing GI stuff and, um, cause that's not going to take me long either. And, um, with the majority of things written and all my art saved, I still have to fix up art, but it's not going to take me very long to do that. So we'll see, but I'm super excited and I got my centerpiece finished and it looks, it actually looks pretty good considering that I had no real idea of what I was going to do until day before yesterday. <laughs> I had an idea, but it wasn't anything concrete. And then it was like, ooh, I should do this. And then I put it on the page and it looks amazing. So, <laughs> we're going to, I'm going to work on that this weekend and um, make it work. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, I'll do another video in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go in about a week and a half. I'm going to go, um, as a matter of fact, a week from Friday, which is tomorrow. I'm going to go um, to Columbia and spend time with my people and my significant other. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, and maybe I might do a video tomorrow. Tomorrow's... I'm trying to ignore what tomorrow would have been. So, <laughs> aside from it being a soul-crushing day, if I were actually affected by this shit anymore, um, tomorrow, September the 6th, would have marked uh, nine years since I uh, met and started dating my husband. And um, when we actually decided we were going to have a relationship, and, um, we got married about a month after that, so, that's why I'm kind of like, oh, God, I don't really give a fuck anymore, <laughs> I really don't, I, and it took me a long time today to even realize what today was, because September the 5th, we went on our first date, um, and it was like, yeah, I remember what the day is, but, you know, I really was thinking, Hmm, today is September the 5th. I gotta pay my water bill in like two days. <laughs> I really wasn't thinking about him. <laughs> Which tells me I'm getting to the point where I don't care anymore. Um, I don't care about that. And that's important. That means that's a very big step in my recovery and um, pulling myself back together. And Because I'm almost certain he doesn't think about it. And he, it probably didn't even occur to him what today was. It probably didn't even occur to him, nor did he care anymore. So, I'm not concerned about it that much. I really don't care that much. But in the in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's amazing when you stop and think about what the day is, and you realize, nine years ago, because it would be nine years, nine years ago, <laughs> I made a very terrible decision and basically ruined my life. <laughs> I just didn't realize it until maybe last year's this time. So, or the year before that. Because two years ago, my now ex-husband was starting all this bullshit that he started with leaving and coming and going. And it was just stupid. So, I realized that two years ago, <laughs> I was on the pathway to freedom. <laughs> So, it's not all bad. I I mean, I just, I stopped and I thought about it. It took me a little bit to even remember what the day was. And I was like, oh, mm, I ruined my life nine years ago today. <laughs> oh, how terrible. <laughs> oh, well, I feel better now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to probably go celebrate my freedom even more. Um, but I will be... I will be going out of town, and I will be seeing my people, so I'm excited, uh, it's my monthly visit, so I'm very, very excited, and I'm owed some money, <laughs> alright, so for real, I'm going this time, and I'll see you guys later, I might do a video about it, I don't know, just depends tomorrow if I feel like it, so I'll see you guys later, deuces. <laughs>